Hey guys, welcome to another Animal Crossing video, and for today's video, we are going to go build the school. Hey there, do you need anything? Yeah, we need our uniform! Which I did change, by the way. <laughs> Ooh, something different! Nice. She actually kind of started the conversation for the school a couple of builds ago. So I think I had, I think I was on the fourth house when she mentioned the school, but you don't actually unlock this part till your sixth house. Oh, I like that blue one. The blue, the pink, and the black look nice. Okay, future me, like I like to do in these types of videos apparently, but future me is back and I would just like to say I've had the ability to expand the rooms for a while now. Uh, this was where it started, building the school is kind of where they introduce you to this aspect and man it is nice. Uh, since I've been introduced to this. I have actually gone back to the resident homes that I've built and I've expanded them and yeah, highly, highly suggest that if you're at this point, then you go return to visit to the vacation homes you have done and you'll be able to expand them and make them look just that much nicer. Yeah, because at this point you have this as an ability and partitions. And um, and yeah, both just make decorating the vacation home so much smoother. It, you don't feel like you're cramping things in one place. And yeah, I really felt like I was doing that with the first couple just because the rooms are so tiny. So building this school was actually a lot of fun. Uh, I, I had a blast building this school. Uh, I spent a good chunk of time on it for sure. Wait, 
I totally tried to leave, as you saw, uh, because I was hoping that it would be like the vacation homes where you could decorate the inside and the outside. So I was going to go throw some flowers out in the front and maybe some benches, but I guess it doesn't work that way. There isn't really a schoolyard, I guess you'd say. It's, it's right by the store. So, so yeah, that plan totally backfired. So at this point, we are picking a teacher. I thought Eloise worked perfectly, so I didn't look further. I just kind of knew that she would be the best teacher to teach at this school. So, so she, uh, she is the teacher and she looks so cute in those glasses. <laughs> Okay, so next up is naming the school, which I was totally excited to do. I guess I wasn't expecting that. Keep in mind that this all occurred before I even realized you could change the name of the vacation homes. So I really didn't think you were able to actually name anything over here. So uh, so that was really cool. This was the first thing I named. And yeah, I'm not sure if I'm 100% happy with the name I chose. I sat here for like 20 minutes trying to figure out a good name. I had one, but ironically it was too long uh, which is hilarious because they actually give you a lot of room to make a name so i'm not totally sure if it's the name i'm gonna stick with but it is the name that we have now <laughs> Oh, everyone looks so cute. Look at Bob. Bob is so adorable. He's, he's honestly, like, I don't have him on my island, but I always wanted him. And we came so close once, but no one wanted to move out at that point. But I lucked out, got him in the campsite. So, um, so I used this DLC to, you know, feel like I have Bob. Yeah, so I made him a vacation home. I was really happy to see him on the island. He was one of the first. Well, as you can see, these are all of them. I've only, I've only done six homes. Which means someone's missing, but I don't know who. We got five people here. Well, five animals. Thank you. 
Yeah, I'm not totally happy with that one. We're gonna redo one. Felt like we weren't zoomed in enough for that one. <laughs> you guys see how high Nico jumped? Oh, Nico is so adorable. Well, thank you, Nico. Glad you approve. Bet I do well even in my worst subjects. <laughs> Wardell didn't move. Yay, me! Well, that's no fair, Nico. Jeez. <laughs> Lottie said the same thing. Oh, I'm sure he will. Damn! 25,000 pokey! We know where the real money is now. You're welcome, Lottie. You're welcome. So uh, that was pretty good. 25,000 for buildings. That's not bad. So you'll get 25,000 for every building you do. And at this point, you're earning 9,000 per vacation home. And then on top of that, what I've also been doing is returning back and just like adding one extra thing, just like, you know, renovating it pretty much, which gets me 4,500. So you can, you can earn a decent amount, you know, like for sure. If you've um, got enough vacation homes and you just want to renovate, I usually leave those because it's a lot of work to like visit every single person, especially as you get more. So what I've been doing is on the days I come out here and no one that I want to make a vacation home for is around, then I just renovate. And 
and that helps build up my currency. So once again, you need six vacation homes to get to this point so you can make the school. Our next one is going to be two, actually. It's going to be the restaurant and the cafe that I'll be posting next. And both of those unlock at the same time. So you need 12 vacation homes to be able to do those. There is a total of five. So that will get us, once I post those, that'll be 305 buildings. Uh, basically how it goes is uh, the school six vacation homes restaurant and cafe are both unlocked after 12 vacation homes the next one after that will be the hospital that's unlocked when you've done 25 vacation homes and then the final one will be the shop which unlocks after you've done 30 vacation homes and then that's the final one at the moment you know they who knows, they might add more later. But at the moment, that is the final one. So, um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I have lots of vacation home videos to post, so keep an eye uh, out on that. And of course, I will be back with the next building. So have a great one, guys. Happy crossing. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.